This video was going to be about how I charge my low acid batteries. I was asked by another YouTube user just to show my charger and go over some of the basics and charging low acid batteries and just going over some of the details too. Sorry I haven't been making any videos lately but I've just become a bit lazy. Hopefully I'll have some more videos coming soon. And not just high voltage videos but just general electronic videos really. This is the charger I use to charge my batteries. It is a Numax brand charger and it's limited to one amp of current. I think it's multiple stages as well, which is what is really needed for charging lead acid the sealed lead acid types. As if you charge with a higher current, the batteries will bulge and potentially explode because of the hydrogen being produced. It came with these, which clips onto like the join up here, and it's got eyelets here which are designed so that they screw onto certain types of batteries but because the terminals on top of my batteries are quite small I've just taken some wire, soldered it on and then soldered some alligator clips on and they're much better for these types of smaller batteries and they've also got these plastic covers so it covers the terminals in case of anything falling and potentially shorting it out so this is the battery I'm going to be putting on charge today um, it's about 70% charge and it can do with a bit of a top up really. And we can see the open circuit voltage. Twelve point six seven. So it's probably about seventy percent charge. I know open circuit voltage isn't the most accurate way of determining the state of charge, but it's okay for a rough estimate. Okay, so I normally just put them on charge in here in the conservatory um, on the window ledge, windowsill, I should say. Um, that's the charger, and I'm going to plug it in now. Okay, plugging it in. And as you can see, the charge indicator has gone amber, which means it's doing its bulk charge right now. With the current state of charge of this battery, it should be done by this evening. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon right now. Like I said, it charges in stages, but it's also current limited, so if the battery is completely flat, um, it can take all night sometimes. But you shouldn't really run these batteries down to that stage anyway, because it's no good for the cells. I think I've only run it down um, to about 11 volts once, and that was with my 5 for 5 um, flyback driver, when it was drawing 10 amps. I kept thinking, why the hell the, uh, the arcs keep dying and getting smaller? And then I checked the battery voltage and it was at 11 volts, so it's obvious the battery was dead. Okay, so I'm going to measure the voltage now. The charger is putting out with the battery connected. Thirteen point three eight volts. And obviously that will increase as the battery um, approaches a higher state of charge. And I think it goes up to fourteen point fourteen point fifteen volts, I think. And once it's uh, fully charged, the battery charger will drop down to 13.8 volts, I think, just to keep it topped up. So I hope that helped Cyprian out in some way, and I've just found this video informative. Sorry it was not the most entertaining. I'll put a link to Cyprian's channel in the description or the video. Hopefully I shall have some more videos coming soon. Not just high voltage videos, but other electrical projects too. I think I need a bit of a break from all the high voltage. I mean, everyone likes to arc, but... There's other things in electronics too to learn. So thanks for watching and goodbye.